we have this operating uh, border well on this edge, and uh, we have a title. Then we put in here. You can put above uh, the power, you can use the power and then you can have some power and close it. So now you can put uh, the power. Uh, and uh, this is the holder. It has a room here. So can you put it there like this? This and it will hold it here. So you can make sure that the time on this. Okay. So this tool will hold it here. It's not like it will leak out of the lower end. Okay. So once the tell is go to the tower. Call the file. Okay, the first file takes screen to put the sound like this. Uh, you know how how well you can talk on it. You put the tone. Qualify. Okay, you can take out the gel from this. Okay, and this side. Now you want to run your gel. You take it out from the top. Okay, now you can have the gel tip. So this is your place. Once you run the gel, you take it out. Okay. Now you know that your gel is done because you also have to put the right gel. Okay. Now you are not double at all. Question: What is this in your life? Picture when you just off, you have some slides. You can have some problem with the lab. Okay. 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 Okay, so uh, once you have uh, so once you have the you open this. Okay, then you have a spatula. You can simply put the spatula between the plates. OK. 
ki and slightly bend it so you will be able to separate the plate either your gel will be on this plate or on this plate so you have for example your gel is on this plate okay so you have the stacking gel you have the resolving gel the stacking gel will put like this to cut that out okay then you have the resolving gel simply we know we we'll cut a corner out of this so that we know that the gel which side is which so after this what we do we put this system in a uh, say tank small uh, like you have a microwave dish we make we make a cake the same kind of a dish we cake okay we put this we put it like this and then we put this, these cushions like this and then after that we put some hard blotting paper on this say one or two blotting papers once we are done we take the gel put it on this okay and slowly we will remove the glass plate now you have a gel so this is the gel now is here okay after the on the gel we will put the blotting membrane we take the blotting membrane we put it on the gel and once we have put the blotting membrane on the gel again put some tissue uh, these tissue papers on this and then we put another cushion in front of the side and we close it once we close it your gel is in this so your gel is here on the black side and on the white side you have your membrane so protein you have to move from black side to white side after this what you do the apparatus that's it in the two type of gel okay the black black on one side once it is in here you can put two 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 gel at a time okay you have to be Second one can also go here. It has two gels at a time. Then okay again. So black will go on black side now. So then you put two. So this is the same apparatus that we use for for running our gel. We we'll put our oops. okay now again. It has this black and this red. So black will go on black side and red will go on red side. What do you do? How negative? positive okay, then we close the lid fill the buffer so if you have two gels you put the buffer till here the four gels to here and if you are blotting you will put the buffer till here so you can do the transfer for put in the lid and you can do the transfer for say one hour two hour some people do for overnight to get good quality quality protein so once it is done we will stop the apparatus and we will Take this out. Okay. Take our this out. Okay, this is our gel. Slowly open it. So once it's open, I mean the black will be on downside. We'll take this out. Throw this in the sink and wash it and put it back. These we can throw because. The cars are not reusable. You can reuse them, but it's advisable to just throw them. Then you have this blotting membrane. Okay, you take this slowly, and your protein is on this. If you have the colored ladder, you have to see the colored ladder on it. Protein bands you will not be able to see. And this your other rest, you can throw these. But this you can keep, and this will be. So now you have the blot. can cut it from one side to know that which side is which okay or you have a colored ladder so then don't no need to cut it so now take this blot and put it in a tray with your primary antibody so what for the say your protein of the food this we check to what about again we do check gene expression so in case it at protein level so If you are doing expression level at uh, real time level or uh, among us also good, but there is regulation of or we say post oxidation, uh, post oxidation regulation, or post oxidation regulation. Please, my expression. 
as a more unit liter or not translate into kg. So it always better to go for a western blotting than a northern blotting. Because northern blotting will tell you the soft and the MRM level, about MRM level. But if the gene is further translated into protein, how much of the MRM is to actually drop into protein, that will be dominated by western blotting. So if you have crisis, then you want to do a western blot or a red access for a southern blot, you go for western blotting. Though it's in fact, some things like you want to use for the and the aperture, this aperture is cross around four microbes. So uh, it's cumbersome, quite cumbersome. And the uh, conservatives that are required in western blotting are the higher. So, uh, plus the antibodies, the only antibodies that we have, which is available. And we also have the control one. Uh, okay, and you want to find the exception of all of these. Now, uh, since the protein will have the same molecular weight, so it will be at the same position. Same is the case with your normal blotting. Again, the size of the amount will be the same, that way it will be at the same. Position. However, in sorry, northern, southern, in southern blotting. Pushing cannot be seen because the resistant dimension can be kind of up and down, so the dimension will be at the same point. However, mutation size can be detected by the number of brands we get. So, in western blotting, then you have to have a number of brands, like cooperation, cold cooperation, and the protein is here. Now, what we do is we keep this in a small box and put primary uh, prior put in the milk solution. The milk solution is not as except for the reason that are going to be Once blocking is done for 30 minutes, the ice, uh, sorry, with uh, this casein uh, or uh, milk, uh, milk or some PGS also, then you put primary antibodies. So, primary antibodies are antibodies that will bind to your protein of antibodies. In this case, we have primary antibodies in the structure of an antibody. We have primary antibodies that will again, this is RBI6. So this time, uh, I bind to a region of your protein. The protein is big, so it can bind to a specific region. This is called as an epitope. If the anti primary antibody is one of the anti uh, epitope, it will be as what is monochrome antibody. Or if you have any antibody that like different epitope of the same protein, it will be called as a polychrome antibody. So, different antibodies, but they bind to the same protein, called as a polychrome antibody. One kind of antibody is simple, one kind of antibody is excellent. So, for a turn, both we do. So, now you add the antibody to this, and your this antibody will bind to this. There are 30,000 proteins only, they will bind to your RBI because these antibodies have been raised again for RBI 6 proteins in say mice, and then we can the mice will automatically produce antibodies, and we can take out these antibodies. If a science antibody develops, I can be how to design any antibody, uh, you can do it. Then you have to detect this primary antibody. So what we do is the secondary antibody that has a tag. What do we tag? What's the tag? So this secondary antibody is tested for this region of the primary antibody. So where are your primary antibody is bound, your secondary antibody will bind here. Okay, primary antibody done. Secondary antibody. Once the secondary antibodies are bound, the watch, the non specific antibodies we now are bound only, they will kind of wash off. And then we put the solution, the solution 
all the solutions that will get converted into the colored chromogen. Okay, on the when we put on the board. So this HRP has the property of converting. Okay, uh, you present carbon. Uh, or if you readily try to readily try to find the expensive and uh, also help. So so okay. So these emit light and light and visible by an HRP. So then what we do once we add HRP we put this. We put an XF film on this, and once you put the XF film on this, it will emit light. Okay, and when you take out the, you expose it for one minute or for half a minute or fifteen seconds, you don't do much exposure. Okay, because these are transgenic genes, and they express really high. They have transcriptomotor or promotor like this. So then, when you see on the board, you will see a band like this. And in this case, if you have higher expression, you have a lot bigger brand. And in this case, you have a much bigger brand, much bigger brand. So this fashion plot will tell you different difference in expression of a particular gene. So again, share uh, this fashion plotting we do in our lab. Uh, so, if anyone wants to learn it, so can surely anytime come and. I'm sharing the screen. You can see here the expression like three, six. Let me see. We have three, then you have six. You see the expression. The brightness of this band is increasing. This some paper, and you see the expression is higher here, and here expression is lower here. Right? Same is in this case. If you go to another gel. If you go to another gel, say this one again, you see the expression varies here. In this case, is same. Here you can say this expression is higher here, but it's lower here. Right? So expression can here is higher, it's here is lower. So expression can vary. So Western blot is a good technique, an ultimate technique that can be expression of a protein. Apart from this transgenics, you can also check uh, different proteins or the expressed. Uh, they have higher expression or lower expression, like cold orange proteins or some protein are uh, expressed due to say, heat shock, cold shock, drop stress, silent stress. Some proteins are upregulated, some proteins are downregulated. You can also check those proteins. So, another thing that you have is a dark blot, it's kind of a same. If you have a protein in cell, you want to check the uh, expression on different clones. So, you are cloning a gene and you want to see the expression of the protein. So, what you do, what you do if you have a colony, some colony is going on a page, you put the blue out on there. Colonies will stick. Then you, what you do on this blot, you simply uh, add SDS or MAO, the cell will lies there only and the protein will be isolated and be there only. Then you wash it, the protein will be trapped on this blot, then you use primary antibody, secondary antibody, then you see in which of the clones the blot, the band is more. So you will be able to, the, 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 the band that is more. Uh, is bigger or the spot that is bigger will have say for example if I can share the screen you see here you have a blot You have a blot here. Again, you have a blot here. It's less expressed, it's less expressed, lesser. Here it's more expressed. So even you want to see a gene that you have cloned is the right gene. You can simply take the colonies and then you can lyse the colonies on the blot and then blot for DNA proof. Okay, that will give a 
there in a hybridization and you have a signal, you will be able to know that which cone is your positive cone and which cone is negative cone. So dot dot analysis can be done in proteins as well, it can be done on DNA as well. So with this, your chapter and your unit and your course ends. Okay. So I'll stop here. Okay, from tomorrow onwards, we do not have a class. And if anyone has any questions, he or she can drop those questions on the WhatsApp group or you can email uh, on the Google Classroom. Okay, you guys have a great day. Bye.